Hey everybody, Dr. Akurma, Guru Chiropractor. Peace and love. Back again for another video. This is my friend Hector. Good patient. You've been coming since like 2020. You've yeah. been coming for a while. Yeah. Even before I was doing the ring dinger in the polls, I think, oh, right? Yeah. yeah so you're a you're a long time patient. But then when I when I switched over to the ring dinger, saved you a few times, I think, yeah, right? Quite a few times. Um, Hector is he does real estate and professional collegiate soccer referee, not player. But you played, but you but right now you're reffing for what high level college and re yep. cool, cool, cool. So you're doing a lot of running up and down the field anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to tell a little bit uh, to the audience about, you know, some of your experiences with me, I don't know, whatever pops in your head. And, uh, and then we're, we'll roll right in. He's here today. Nothing major going on. Just, uh, just feeling tight and jammed up, but no, no major symptoms or pain this time. Right. Right. This right? Time, yeah. But you're coming from maintenance, right? right? Because you understand maintenance and you value and you try to stay in front of yeah. the big problem. Good man. Good man. Say a little something if you don't mind, and then we'll roll into a good adjustment today. He's getting the ring dinger and the full body. Uh, there's been like a few times that, um, you know, lifting weights at the gym on a daily basis where you get jammed up, and there's been quite a few times where I've thrown my back out and, yep. my, or, and or my neck. Yep. And there's one instance where I remember that I woke up and I couldn't move. I, it felt like I was paralyzed. And, um, like you couldn't lift your head off the pillow, lift my head off the pillow. Yeah. yeah pretty much. That. It was the weirdest thing ever. And, uh, couldn't do certain motions and long story short, I, there was no mobility in the neck. There's been times where there's no mobility in the back. And instead of, you know, taking a pill, honestly, instead of taking a, a, a you know, a painkiller or something, I would just come here and, uh, the pain goes away relatively instantly. Like, yeah. Like you've never, like, if you, if you have migraines, you have headaches, it, it goes away instantly. Your back pain right yeah. away and you're brand new. Now, s that, that happens, but not all the time. No, no, I don't no, want no. everybody out there thinking I could make, I could do it miracles. Takes a couple times. <laughs> I, I Sometimes, that. occasionally one visit and it clears. That's true. But not, that's not the norm. No. Like you were telling the last time you were in, you had a pretty nasty pinch nerve shooting down the arm. Yeah. We were talking about it off camera. Yeah. And I, I did a, I did a, a pull in a, in a full body, mm -hmm. and you really didn't get full relief till five days later. Correct. Yeah. But it helped, but it took a little while for the healing process and for the inflammation to, uh, you know, shrink down and everything to, for, before you really f were feeling good. And then it was. And then it was gone. But gone. how long? I don't remember how long bef was it bothering you prior to coming in, <sighs> like a week or two, a couple weeks couple, before you got couple, in here. A couple weeks. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. To so, the point where sleep yeah rolling. yeah we were talking off camera i want to make a point here healing is a process that's why they call it the healing process and the definition of process is change over time it's not instantaneous um some people could get instant relief from from what i do but the healing takes time two or three days up to a couple weeks after the adjustment the body's still healing and repair because yeah. that's just what it needs to do it needs it takes time to heal and repair right mm -hmm. so don't expect perfection and i'm not jesus i can't do miracles <laughs> i'm good but i'm not jesus so all right so you ready yeah good man and i appreciate you doing a video this is going to help a lot of people out there get the word out about what i do and and that it, you know how help, helps people and all that kind I of honestly, stuff so i tell everybody so at you. the gym like every time we're lifting we're all talking about like oh my back hurts or this this and that and i'm like let me show you something on instagram you gotta go yeah, to my car you show my videos and all the time and uh I, how many people get scared and how many people uh, say, I like it, uh, you know, like I, I want to go come do it? Because uh, there people, are people that get a little scared when they see bit, it. But there are more people that are more intrigued by it. Intrigued, yeah. yeah. They're like, yeah, it looks very relieving. Awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. So you ready for a yeah, good one? Definitely. Go face down right here. Relax your muscles. You know, you've done it plenty of times. I'm going to do a little mini exam, get a feel for what's going on, and then we're going to do a good uh, stretch out and massage, and then we're going to do a full, well, we're going to do a ring dinger. And then we're going to do a full body release, full body adjustment. Your job, stay relaxed. And I, how many people in your family did you send? I know I did your pop. Did I do your mom? Yeah. And your brother, no? Or did he yeah. never made it? He, yeah, he, he came did. once, right? Once yeah, or twice? Nice. Appreciate you sending the whole family in, huh? All right, so I'm just looking at your posture today. Because I always look at the posture first. Sometimes it gives me some good info. Shoulders look pretty square, but I'm seeing in your hips, you got a twist in your pelvis to the right. 
some of it's your pants. Your pants are a little crooked, but it's not all your pants. Sorry. Yeah, you got a little twist to the right, and it looks like you have a high left hip. Oh, heck yeah. You got a high left hip, and then when I look down at your heels, your left heel is about an inch and a half to two inches shorter. Zach, can you come over here and look straight down at the heels? See what's going on there? Now, if I push and if I pull, it still stays short. See how it is? So unless, unless he has an actual short leg, which you don't, because if, if you had a short leg, you know by now, right? Uh, I did break my leg when I was a kid, my right leg. No, but it's your left leg that's short. Oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah, so unless it's a verified short leg, then what's going on is the hip is pulled up too high. And it looks, apparently looks short, but it's really the hips pulled up. And usually the high side is the tighter side. So I don't know if you're feeling more tightness on this left side, yeah. but that's what's usually going on. And I, as I'm palpating, it's much tighter here in your par lumbar paraspinal on the left than it is on the right. It's even more raised up. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. But yeah, it's, it's very tight through here. So we're going to work on releasing that. <clears throat> so I'm going to bend up your knees. Let me know. We've done this a lot of times. So let me know if it squeezes here or makes any extra pain or pulling in your lumbars. It normal should, should stretch your quads. That's normal. But it really shouldn't do anything to your lower back if your lower yeah. back was good. Yeah. Already I'm feeling it. Yeah. Oh. And your quads are really tight. And that usually goes hand in hand. When the lower back is jammed and compressed, thigh is tight chronically. And it won't get stretched and won't stay loose until this gets released. But the cool thing is when this gets released, very often the thigh, the hamstring, and the, and the quadricep loosen, boom, without even stretching. So we're going to check that afterwards. All right, let's check the sacroiliac joints. This is another orthopedic test. Start with your left leg. Don't bend it here at the knee. Straight up, lift. Okay, go down. Any pull? Uh, uh, do you feel like that was abnormally tight? All right, do the right side. Yeah, and down. So visually, this didn't go up at nearly as high as this side. It's still a little bit tighter on this side than it should be. Like I, I would have liked to see the right go up a little higher than it did, but the left went up way lower. I mean, didn't go up at quite as high as, as, as the right. Am I, I'm talking, okay. So that tells me that the left sacroiliac is pretty jammed. Is it sore when I'm poking? So there's inflammation going on there too. Sore here or no? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, how about here in the middle? Yeah. Right on the spine? Yeah. So that's a sign that there's inflammation as well as jamming. You could have inflammation. I mean, you could have inflammation without jamming, but you could also have jamming without inflammation, or you could have both. Very tight here in the lumbars on the left. Okay, I'm feeling up here. Middle back, not too bad. Once I get to the upper back, this is pretty tight and rigid again. All through here, transition between the neck and shoulders. Feels pretty compressed. Sore? A little. How about this side? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here too, tender? Yeah. That's the headache button. You getting headaches or you getting sinus problems or anything? Uh, not so much. Sometimes uh, a little bit of headache. Yeah. Just because it's tight is not a guarantee you get headaches. But when you do get what's called cervical genic headaches, meaning originating from the neck, like neck stress causing referring pain up to the head, which is the most common cause of headaches. It's usually coming from this area, the, sec the first or second bone in your neck, which we, we refer to as upper cervical. So we're going to release that as well. Okay, I'm going to roll into a good stretch, and then we're going to go in the back room and do a good pull, and then we're going to come back here and finish on this table with a full body. Your, your job, relax. Relajate. And I'll do the rest. So we were just talking about the weather in Jersey last three or four days. It feels like summer again. Did it hit 80 today or is it like upper 70s? No, it hit 80. Yeah, it's crazy. End of October. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Me too. Well, I got a window unit, so I could just crank it whenever I want. I put the AC on and the fan and an extra fan to stay cool.
か。トゥルトゥー。トゥルトゥルトゥー。トゥルトゥルトゥー。おーいえ。When's your next game?、Uh, Saturday. Yeah, mostly well, on week. Actually, I, oh my God, I got one tonight. Oh, you got one tonight? Well, not, I don't have to do anything.、Oh. Friday and Saturday. Friday night, Saturday, during the day?、Uh, yeah, i Sheesh. So, after, like, so you have, let's say you have three, three in a row. You feel beat up afterwards? Is it really physical for you? I could imagine. You're running up and down that field, man. You gotta run wherever the ball goes, right? Or, or are you a certain. There's different refs, right? Are、I、you. Both. Yeah. Linemen, like you do. Basically. Yeah. I don't know the terminology. I'm not really a big, you know, soccer fan. I don't know all the rules and regs. Stay relaxed. Very soft. Oh, shit. Good. All right, nice little warm up. Now we're going to go in the back for the ring dinger. So when you're ready, come on up on your feet. Good. Now we've got to pin you in. The pins are very important because when I pull, I want your body to stop or have, at least have a lot of drag. And that's what allows the force to go all the way down to the tailbone and release the whole spine. One pull. One pull, full release. Good. Too tight or good? That's good. Hands back to me. We're going to do a little bit of a snug up, make sure there's no. Yeah, you're good. Relax them. They're sore. It feels bad. It doesn't stress you. Rest. Rest them wherever, except for don't grab the bars. I got a spritz. Spritz the table. The towel. Okay. Good. Lift up your neck and come down. Come down. Your job, just a reminder, teeth together. Don't bite hard, just keep them closed and stay as relaxed as you can. And that's it, I'll do the rest. You ready to rock?、Mm -hmm. Good. Give me five seconds. I'm just going to visualize the perfect pull, center myself, and we're going to do this. <sighs> okay, first I'm going to get a grip. The grip is important. Chin down slightly, relaxed, and boom. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even budge on that one, man.、Uh, Did you feel a full, full release? All the way down. Amen, brother. Amen. All right. He's a, you're a veteran though, already with this thing. Think you're going to be sore? No, no, hopefully not, but I don't think so this time. You feel, you feel the blood rush.、Like、Now, question when you felt it down below, was it more dominant on that left side because it was tighter?、Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the tension is where it gets. It gets all that tension and squeezing out. Was it, the, it was the left side too last time as well, right? I don't remember. I have to go look back at my notes. Now I'm going to do a little release here in the next. Stay loose as a goose. Relax. Let it go. There it goes.、Mm -hmm. Good. There, a little、oh. clunker there. Boop. Wow. Good one on that right side. That could have been a little leftover from this, even though it wasn't bothering you. All right, done here. Good one on the, on the ring dinger today. So come on up on your feet when you're ready. And then we're going in that, back on the other table in the other room for a full body adjustment. Send you out of here with a smile on your face, feeling frisky. Oh, man. You're taller, too, you bastard. It, it, I, I don't, I'm jealous. Everybody who's taller than me, I'm jealous. Face down when you're, when you're ready. Relajate. Good. 
Now, first thing I want to do is recheck some of the stuff that I saw in the initial exam, see if anything changed dramatically. Right off the bat, your pelvis is not even torqued anymore, and it doesn't look high on that left side. Now, I'm not looking yet at the, at the, uh, at the heel, but I would bet money that heel is lower than it was when we first looked, maybe even perfect. Ba-boom. Zach? See? Look at that. Even, baby. Even. I'm pushing, and I'm pulling, and I'm pushing. Even. So your left hip got so released, it, it came down about an inch and a half. Literally an inch and a half from one pull. So that's really good. There's still some tightness in here. So now, like here, feel that. Now we're going to do some drops to release even more. But already it's, you know what? Let me bend it. When I bend it, you tell me if it feels any looser. Way looser. Way looser? Yeah, right there. It's like tight. A little bit still left because I felt it, but a lot looser than the first time. Well, yeah. Amen. These are my measurements because I can't feel what you feel that tells me whether it's working. Now we're dropping this and we're going to do some drop technique to release even more through the set lumbar spine and the sac sacroiliacs. Stay loose, baby. Nice. Good. Nice. Loose, loose, loose. Good. Relax. Let it go. Good. One more for good luck. Nice. Okay. Now I'm going to check the sacroiliacs. So keep it stiff here. Lift as high as you can again. Look at that go down. That went up like three inches higher than when it initially. How did it feel to you? Very much, much easier. Try the right side. And the right side's good too. Okay, good. So that make, that, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this. Now we're going to release more up this way. So I'm going to raise up the belly. We're going to do a little more push down here. Stay relaxed. Good. Good. Relax. Let it go. Nice. All right, we're going to do the transition between the neck and shoulders. Look up a little bit. Plop it down. Stay relaxed. Good. Back in the middle. Not a lot of loud popping for all you crack addicts out there. Sorry, but it is releasing. Look up. Sideways. Good. Back in the middle. Much looser. Even up here. Remember when I was squeezing up here and you said it was sore? I don't feel any tension. Do you feel any soreness? No, no. no, no. Amen. That neck released. Good job, bro. Roll over on your back when you're ready. We got a few more things to do, but the big stuff is released. Released. Ooh. Like I'm all sweaty. Yeah, man. That's like a, a nervous uh, system. Release. Boca arriba when you're ready. Face up. Good. Now hands back to me. A little stretch and a little tug. This is really not a chiropractic adjustment because it's not very specific. But it stretches well and sometimes when I tug, um, the spine releases even more. It little, gives a little more decompression. Boom. Yeah. Do you feel anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, where? Yeah. Point where? All, uh, yeah, all the way through the Really? You got a big really? Hey, man. We'll take it, right? Yeah, definitely. Now we're going to do the feet, right? You go with the toesies. I think my next patient's waiting out there. They probably hear us. Relax. Good. Good. Woo. Your toes are loud today. Good. Give a little tug at the ankles. Stay relaxed. Boom. Stay relaxed. Nice. <sighs> Siéntese, por favor. Sit up, face a dis. We didn't really check you seated initially. Sit up straight. But we'll do a quick look-see. Turn. That's turning good. That's turning pretty good, too. I don't have a before but it's good now. So we're going to finish off. We're going to do the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Done for today. You ready? Fit, bend up here. I'm hugging you. Getting that hug. Oh, that was super loud. Go this side. 
Relax. Relax. Yep, yep. Two for two, baby. Two for two. Usually you don't get two shoulders. Drop. Let it go. Good. Elbow. No no popping. Let's see about the wrist. Yep. Good. Relax. Good. Sweating, man. Yeah. Whoo. I'm sweating a little bit too. Drop it. Relax. Good. Relax the wrist. Relax. Good. Pull. Nice. Dang. <laughs> Sometimes that even gets the elbow. Yeah. And done. Awesome. I feel like. Tell them. I feel very like loose. Loose nah. is the perfect word. Yeah. That's the main goal for, uh, for you and for everybody out there. That's the main goal of getting adjusted. Release. Release the jammed up, misaligned. You loose yeah, and re up, yeah. re loose, released. Anytime I hear anybody, you know, uh, you know, describing that they're looser, I know that it helped, oh, yeah. right? The jamming causes the problem. Um, and the compression will squeeze down on the disc, which could pop the nerve and cause the pinched nerves. So basically, we're re I'm releasing the joint, yeah. and you're doing the healing. I don't heal you. You heal you. But when you're jammed up sometimes, your body can't heal it. It's too jammed. You're like stalled at a speed bump, right? Yeah. So when we release it, it gets you over that speed bump, and then it can do the proper job it needs to. I don't heal you. I just release. And I step back, and then a little time goes by, and your body works it out. So, yeah. all right, you did good. I appreciate you coming through. I'm glad you're feeling good. Let's say goodbye to the audience. Well, you guys have to get in here and seriously. Yeah. It's... You suffer from sciatic or anything like that, stop taking any type of pills. Come here and get the ring finger. What he said. So this is the Guru Chiropractor, Big Hector, signing off. Peace and love. If you need some of this, reach out to my website, retrochiropractic.com, and everything's there. There's a book now link. Put your info in. It goes to my assistant. He'll reach back out to you, and uh, you guys work it out, and come on through, and I'd be happy to help. Love you guys. Peace. God bless.